Good morning, this is Connor from Zero DTE Traders here to present our Market Minute for January 3rd, 2024. It is 1050 and the SPX is down 7 tenths of a percent to 47.08. So we are seeing continuation from yesterday, uh, really across all asset classes, um, dollar index continuing to move higher, up big 1.3%, U.S. Treasury yields moving higher in tandem, the VIX now above the 14 handle plus 7% today, which continues to be an exacerbating factor. Uh, we got defensives down, traditional cyclicals down with the exception of energy stocks. Uh, growth sectors down and mega caps are mixed here. We got Google, Microsoft, Amazon um, catching a bit of a bid, but they're more flat than anything. Uh, leading on the downside here is Tesla down 4%. Um, turning to the SPX, four hour trend is bullish. One hour trend is now bearish. Uh, this shift did yesterday. We're Technically in positive gamma on the SPX, total market gamma 280 million, although we are negative on the SPY. So take it on a net basis, more neutral. Uh, and 4,700 is really, I would say, the risk off level. So if we do break 4,700, that's when we're going to start to see some material negative gamma. We are technically in the sell the rip regime, uh, which is what we've been doing over the past two trading sessions, yesterday and today. Um, and this is indicated by price trading below our flip levels, 47.70, 47.35. Um, so below it, bearish, above it, bullish. Um, and we shorted here this morning. Uh, now, of course, we didn't enter uh, at the open here. Uh, largely because we had some major economic releases, much like yesterday, ISM. Uh, manufacturing PMI, jolts data, 10 o'clock, and the market did uh, a bit of a whipsaw here. Uh, but we actually shorted into the move um, off our 47.25 handle, um, took profits uh, essentially at the implied low, and, well, I still hold downside exposure. Um, but we are nearing the lower bound maybe. I don't know. 4,700 is a pretty big handle uh, in terms of gamma. We also have 4,700 as the max put strike. Um, so there is perhaps bounce potential, although if you do break 4,700, it could get pretty ugly on the downside. Um, so it's definitely an area we're watching, but any dip buy today uh, is considered counter trend and should be approached a little bit more tactically. Um, it is very bearish out there. If we just pop over to market internals, volume difference negative, NICE and NASDAQ. Uh, but a 4 to 1 ratio on both, ADD negative 1,500. So we wouldn't say that this is bearish extremes, um, but this is definitely an indication of a bearish trend. And, well, you know, we went over these. So I don't really see any bullish indications with the exception that we're coming down to, to some pretty key levels. Um, so we may see some dip buyers step in. All right, everyone, that's all I have for you. If you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zerodtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.